this is Ryan with uh, Blair Technology Group and in this video we're going to take a look at how to reload Windows uh, back to day one out of the box in case you ever had a virus or something of that nature or Windows got corrupted uh, this will reload Windows uh, straight out of the box and should take care of any issues uh, so what you want to do is you want to completely turn your machine off and then uh, once it's completely off completely powered down go ahead and turn it on uh, the very first thing you should see will be this splash screen like we see now during the screen you want to tap F8 uh, several times and that'll bring you to the advanced boot options um, what we want to choose here is repair your computer and that's what's highlighted as default uh, so once you get the screen you can just go ahead and hit the enter key After what should have been a relatively short load time there, uh, you will come up to this screen. Um, continue will just load Windows 8.1 as normal. Uh, we'll want to go ahead and click Troubleshoot. Uh, this will allow us to access a restore partition. Once you click Troubleshoot, it'll bring you to this next menu. It'll have a, a couple options here. Uh, what you need to hit is reset your PC. Uh, if you hit refresh your PC, uh, that can cause problems with our restore partition. Uh, so at this time, we, we do not recommend that you use refresh PC. Uh, reset your PC will basically completely wipe off any programs, any viruses that you may have, and just reload it back to factory fresh uh, Windows 8.1 install. Uh, you'll have to download your updates again. I mean, it's literally taking it back to day one out of the box. Uh, so this is the option you want to select. Uh, once you select this, it uh, will start the process. Next, you'll see a confirmation window, uh, just to let you know that it is going to uh, delete all of your personal file and apps and reset your PC. Um, you can just go ahead and click Next. This next window will ask you what drives you want to reset. Uh, you do only want to reset the drive where Windows installed. Um, the other drives contain your restore partition. Uh, so if you do not select this option, uh, it could damage your restore partition if you ever had to restore in the future. So make sure you, that you do choose only the drive Windows is installed. Uh, you can just go ahead and left click on this. The next window will ask you if you just want to remove your files or you want to fully clean the drive. Uh, fully cleaning the drive uh, is basically for if you were going to sell your computer to someone or give it to someone you wanted to completely erase your data. Uh, what it does is it goes and wipes the hard drive several times so data is very difficult to retrieve. However, this does take an extremely long time. Uh, so for just a general reset, you do want to choose just remove my files. Um, and just go ahead and left click on this and it'll take you to the next step. This next page is a verification page just verifying that you do actually want to reset uh, Windows 8.1. Uh, you can just mouse over this and left click. Now it will actually start loading the files to reset Windows. It's going to start here and go up to 100%. Uh, this typically takes anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to cut out a lot of this uh, just to save time on the video. Uh, so I should resume around 99% or so. Once uh, the installation has completed, uh, it's possible you might see two versions to pick from. Uh, you do want to pick the bottom version, uh, Windows 8.1, not the one on Volume 2. Uh, so you might not see this. If you don't see 2, uh, don't worry about it. Just select the only option available to you. Um, 
but I'll just highlight uh, Windows 8.1 and once you have uh, it highlighted just go ahead and left click on it. Uh, so the first thing we're going to see uh, is going to come up to the region and language settings. Typically you want to leave everything uh, by default, but you do want to change your time zone. Uh, default would be Pacific time zone, so if you're on the West Coast you don't really need to change anything. Uh, if you're not on the West Coast, however, you will want to click it and it'll drop down this menu here. And you'll want to select your proper time zone. Uh, we're in Eastern Time, so we're going to go ahead and select uh, Eastern Time US and Canada. Uh, once you have your selection picked out, just left click on it and you'll see it'll put it in the box there. Once that's finished, just go ahead and click the next button. This screen will be where you enter your Windows 8.1 product key. Uh, this product key will be located on what they call a COA or Certificate of Authenticity. Uh, this will be located on your actual computer. Uh, if it's a desktop, uh, the sticker will be stuck to the top of the desktop. Uh, assuming you have it standing upright. If it's a laptop, if you flip your laptop over, uh, you'll see a Windows 8.1 sticker on the bottom of the laptop. Uh, these stickers are typically uh, kind of a checkered pattern, a white, blue, orange, and kind of a tannish brown color uh, in a checkered pattern. It'll have two barcodes on this sticker, and in between the two barcodes will be your product key. Uh, the print is very small on these keys, so you do want to be careful, especially with the number 8 and the letter B as in boy, uh, they are very easily mixed up. And, and as you can see, I'm just putting in some X's. That's not a valid product key, obviously, but I, I can't put one in in the video. So um, so you will want to enter your product key. You do want to make sure it is correct. So you do want to double check it because it will not take the key unless it is correct. Uh, now, if you can skip this process, uh, you'll see there's a skip button there in the bottom corner. So you can come back to this. You will have uh, roughly 30 days to activate and Windows will certainly remind you uh, that you do need to activate. Uh, once you're through this process, it'll take you to a personalization page. And this is basically where you just select uh, what color you would like your your background um, for some of the Windows features later on and it'll also ask you to name your PC in this white box here with a blinking cursor you can name the PC whatever you would like uh, in this video I just named the PC test here and I switched it to a little lighter blue here um, so once you have this set up and you do have your PC name you can just go click next if you have a laptop or a desktop with a USB Wi-Fi adapter plugged in, uh, this should be the next screen that you get. And this is where you would connect your machine to your wireless network. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and connect to Dead Zone here, which is our Wi-Fi uh, back where we work. And once you click on here, it's going to bring up a box and it's going to ask you for your network key. Uh, the the passwords you need to connect your Wi-Fi. So you just want to type it in this box. Uh, once you type it in this box, uh, you can just go ahead and click Next. This will bring us to the settings options uh, for Windows 8.1. Uh, this will allow you to customize the way your data is shared with Microsoft. You can just use Express Settings. This will bring you to the Sign In with Microsoft account page. Uh, if you do have a Hotmail account or an Outlook.com uh, account, uh, you can use your Microsoft login here. So basically, you would type in whatever at Hotmail.com, whatever your email is, or Outlook.com, uh, followed by your normal email password. Uh, if you do have that, you can go ahead and click Next. Um, now, if you do not have a Microsoft account, uh, you can get around this. Uh, what you'll want to do is actually go ahead and click on Create a New Account. At this point, you can create 
a Microsoft account if you would like. Uh, you certainly do not need to. Uh, if you do want to create one, you'll need to type uh, the information in these boxes, uh, create an email address at either Outlook or Hotmail.com, and create a password. Uh, if you do not want to do this, you can just go ahead and click on Sign In Without a Microsoft Account, and uh, this will skip this process for you. This will bring you into your account username and password. Uh, you can create any username that you would like. Uh, this is basically what you're going to see every time your machine starts up as your main um, username. Now if you do want a password, uh, you have security reasons that you don't want anybody else getting in your computer, or, you know, you got kids at home or whatnot, uh, you can set a password. Uh, so what you would do is go into the second box, type in your password, uh, re-enter the password in the third box down just to verify it, and then put in a hint. So if you ever did forget your password, it'll pop up that little hint, and hopefully you'll remember your password. Um, now, anytime your computer goes to sleep or you restart your machine, you will have to enter this password to get into Windows. Uh, you probably do want to write it down as you type it in just to make sure that you do not forget it. Uh, if you do not want a password, you don't really have any security issues or worry about people getting on your computer, just leave all three of these boxes blank. Uh, this my Windows at that point will assume you do not want a password. Uh, and it'll just boot up into Windows. You won't have to fool with ever putting in a password. Uh, once you're done with that, just go ahead and click Next and your machine will restart and go through this process. At this point, Windows will go through its finalization uh, setup process. Uh, it'll go through several changes here. I have cut a lot of this out uh, just to save time on the video. Uh, so if your machine does not go through this process as fast as it's going through the video, that is to be expected. So uh, nothing to be concerned about. Um, this typically takes about five to ten minutes uh, to go through these windows, as you'll see here. And uh, once this is complete, uh, you will be into Windows for the first time. And this is what your Windows desktop will look like by default. Uh, so everybody should look the same. Uh, once in here, you can certainly feel free to go ahead and start installing your programs as you see fit. Uh, you will get several Windows updates over the next couple days. Uh, this is to be expected. Uh, they do take quite a bit of time to install. Um, so don't be alarmed if that does happen. Um, so I hope this video helped, and uh, if you run into any problems, certainly feel free to give us a call at 855-252-4784. Again, that's 855-252-4784. Uh, we're available from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Uh, have a good day. Thank you.